Residents of a Fort Worth community where an eight year old girl was kidnapped plan to question city leaders tonight about the police response. A doorbell camera recorded the moments after the girl was snatched from her mother while the two were walking in the Ryan Place neighborhood on May 18th. An Amber Alert in the case didn't go out properly because the department's fax machine didn't work. Police later arrested Michael Webb after finding him with the girl in a motel. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn is at Fort Worth City Hall with more. Lynn Ann. Like residents in the Ryan Place neighborhood plan to address city council tonight about their concerns about how that incident was handled. But we talked to police today and they said within 24 hours of this incident happening, they were already making changes. Every time a crisis incident comes like this, we want to make sure that we are as ready as we possibly can. Fort Worth police say there are lessons learned from the May kidnapping, which prompted a massive hunt to bring an eight year old girl home. The biggest questions involve Amber Alert communications. We found out that the only means of communication from the regional side, the radio stations, was a fax machine which is a little bit outdated. They agreed that it was a little bit outdated. So we immediately within 24 hours contacted those radio stations and we now have fax, email, follow up, follow up phone call. Police are also getting more training from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. They've changed their procedures to now allow all major case detectives and supervisors to send out Amber Alert information in addition to missing persons detectives. And they're developing a child abduction rapid deployment team, which will respond when there is a confirmed kidnapping to help vet information and get it out quickly. The quicker the better, but we have to have vetted, you know, accurate information in order to get that information out. What we don't want to do is we don't want to rush and get information out that's inaccurate. City officials say since the kidnapping in May, they've also made changes to their Nixle cell phone alert system. So Amber Alert information can now be sent by text alerts to residents who sign up. I think absolutely the city is better prepared. Um, I think that we need to be proactive and not just do things in response to you know, terrible things that happen in our community. We need to always be looking to maybe what other cities have learned. Um, hopefully through things that we will never have to experience. Hoping they can learn from the May kidnapping and be better prepared if it happens again. We can't prepare for every situation because something diff different comes, but as long as we're as prepared as we can be. And police stress that vetting the information can sometimes create a delay, but it is crucial in getting the correct information out there. Fort Worth police told us of the 50 reported kidnappings in the city this year, only two of them were real.